Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome and thank you for watching. I'm Gina Louise and I do lots of thrift flips, trash to treasures and Pinterest. How did you make that? In today's video, I am doing the look for less challenge with Yami from the Latina Next Door and Leanne Epp from DIY Beauty on Purpose. I found this coastal lamp with flip-flops on the shade on the Wayfair website and I thought this was so cute but for $230 I was pretty sure I can make it for less. So my mom was getting rid of these lamps and I thought wow when I saw the shape of them I could create those coastal lamps with the flip-flops that I saw on Wayfair that I was in love with. So I tried and let's see if it was a success or a fail. Okay, let's get going. I use Debbie's DIY paints in 57 Chevy. I also use Nutmeg Brown from Apple Bow with my chip brush from the Dollar Tree. I used rope from the Dollar Tree, my hot glue gun. I used an aqua cleaning cloth from the Dollar Tree, some felt, and this is white rope from Amazon. You do not have to spend the money on this rope if you do not want to. You can use a mop head from the Dollar Tree. And in this DIY, I'm going to show you how I use both of them. Here I am just covering the entire lamp with the Debbie's DIY clay paint. This clay paint is amazing. It has great coverage on any type of material. So here it is covered in the color 57 Chevy, which is just gorgeous. And now I'm just taking my sand, my little um, sander from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to distress it a little bit because I don't want to take a lot of the paint off, but just in the areas that would normally get banged up. And I'm going to take my Nutmeg Brown by Apple Barrel, and I'm going to just use a dry brush, and I'm going to lightly distress it with the dry brush. It gives it the effect of it, a rust look, like the lamp is rusty, because I'm trying to get that rusted metal look. And I think I did a good job of it. Now I'm going to take my nautical rope and I'm just going to hot glue it around a few of these, um, the balls on the lamp. I'm just going to put a couple of them. I'm not going to go all the way to the top, I don't think, because I think the shade is going to cover it. But um, I'm just going to pick some random spots and I'm going to wrap some rope around it to give it that nautical look.
Now I'm going to glue a piece of the nautical rope along the bottom of the lampshade and then I'm going to glue another piece along the top of the lampshade right above the um, seam here and then on the top I just hot glue it right below the seam. I used fabric fusion but you can use a hot glue gun to make those cute little flip flops. I used the aqua cleaning towel from the Dollar Tree and I just found a flip flop free printable online. You're going to cut out the flip flops and use them as a pattern. Now just pin down the pattern of the flip flops on the towel and then just cut them out. After you cut them out, now you're going to place them on your piece of felt. It just makes it stronger. And you're going to do the same thing, just pin them down on your felt and cut them out. Now I'm using the Fabric Fusion to adhere the aqua towel to the felt. Now I took the jute twine and I put it through an embroidery needle and I'm just going to make a little loop in the top center so that I could attach a piece of the white ropes to create the strap of the flip flap. Flip flop. <laughs> Here I am using the pattern as a guide so I can figure out where I should put the little loop. It wasn't easy pulling that thick embroidery needle through the felt, but eventually it comes through and it works out. And now I'm going to cut the rope and use that for the straps and I'm going to cut it just a little bit longer than I need because I wasn't exactly sure where I was going to hot glue the sides. I just cut the jute here and I make a knot and then I just trim it down and I'm going to make two of those because we need the left and right flip flop. Now I'm just figuring out where I should hot glue it on the side so it looks like a flip flop. Then after I glue the sides down on both flip flops, I'm taking the rope and I'm going to outline the entire flip flop. And when I'm done with this, I also make a second pair like I mentioned before with the rope from the mop head from the Dollar Tree to show you that you can do this with the mop head and you don't have to buy the rope from Amazon. And I made some extra ones because I'm actually going to make pillows out of them because I thought they were so cute when I finished them. When I finished outlining these, I just snipped off the extra rope that was hanging over on the sides.
Aren't they so darn cute? I just love them. Like I promised, I'm going to show you that you could do this with a mop head from Dollar Tree. And these are so damn cute. You can embellish so many things with them. You could do beach bags and pillows and make a garland out of them. They're just the cutest ever. Of course, I made a few of them. And here are the final results using the mop head. What do you think? I think they're adorable. And here they are with the Amazon rope. And again, here they are with the mop head. And here are my final results. I hope you love this DIY. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy watching videos like this, Trash to Treasure and Makeovers, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And what do you think? Did I nail it or did I fail it? Please go down to my description box below and check out Yami from the Latina Next Door. She's our host. And check out Leonep from DIY Beauty on Purpose, our co-host. Check out their beautiful DIYs. And please click on the playlist and check out all the other creators who joined us in this. Thanks for watching.